course, obviously, Bucket is a reflector, so Moe's gonna have to play around it. Um, how do you how do you feel? I, Game of Watch is in a lot of controversy. People are saying this character like busted and brain dead and all these things. I'm like, I so definitely think I he's do good, say, but. I do think that the character does have like really strong tools that just you just have to know how to play around. Like, I think a lot of people in general just want to play uh, standard Smash Bros. of just like, okay, uh, I'll take stage advantage, you take stage advantage. It's just sort of like the ebb and flow of the game. Yeah. And Game Watch just doesn't play at that ebb and flow. Right. Like, he just kind of says, all right, I'm going to hold shield and uh, don't do Ooh. anything stupid. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, that might be just be it. Like he's just—he's such an interesting character. It just takes everybody off their. Uh, mm -hmm. I wonder if he's gonna activate that Lloyd. No, not quite yet. I don't think activating the Lloyd was a good idea either, because like if you're not following and falling in like that general direction. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, despite, I haven't seen him go for the reflect just yet. It might be a little laggy. I'm not sure. But a throw. Wow. Yep. Wow. Well, okay. This character's um, amazing. I love Isabel. Especially after the buffs, too, because they buffed a lot of the stuff that Isabel players really wanted, like uh, a lot more consistent jab into uh, tilt combos. Like, because uh, towards higher percents, like, you can get jab into uh, forward tilt, jab into down tilt, and kill it, like, 140 and Oh, that's good to know, actually, yeah. Because she definitely has, like, a kind of killing problem outside of, like, a big read, so. Yeah, and it, and it definitely helps in, like, certain situations where, like, Isabel has to, like, go face to face. And when you're uh, Isabel up close, you don't really have too many options. I think one thing they also need to buff is her role. Her role is, like, atrocious and bad. Yeah. So it's role... hard for her to get out of disadvantage, mm -hmm. I think. Um, yeah, so he's zoning him out really well. He's throwing out these, he's throwing out fairs and bears to like space, but he's not like making it like his only game plan. So, mm -hmm. Like he's, and it, it hasn't been reflected yet either. So like, um, he's doing it in a way where like, even if it got reflected, he wouldn't be punished. He mm -hmm. really threw the sausage back. I don't know what it was gonna do. I kind of want to see him pocket one of those. I feel like that could be devastating. Well, the bombs, um, well, the bombs are kind of uh, just not as good if you really think about it. Cause um, bombs, if you just hit them once, then like the hitbox just goes away. That was a weird interaction. True. Um, but also, uh, Bomb just puts you in such a bad situation that if you just go and hit Game & Watch while he does the, for the fair and you just don't let the Bomb fall on you, then, like, it's uh, essentially free. Oh, there's a Reflector you're talking about. Yeah. It was the first time he went for it, too, for the work. And something I respect Komoda a lot for is, like, he's just not letting Forte play as, like, typical uh, Game & Watch game, which is, like, oh, you landed on my shield. I guess, like, we're going to go for a ride now. Yeah, you were, uh, you were breaking down... Um, where a lot of game watchers get their mileage and Komodo's playing around entirely. Mm -hmm. That's like the first time he really touched his shield up close. Everything yeah. else has been from a distance. And the first time he touched his shield is the first time he got taken for a ride. Yep. Oh, and he wasted his nine. That's unfortunate. I will, this, do nines have work the same way they do in Smash 4? Uh, I think it's like truly random, so okay, I don't... Okay, so there's no like like throwing a random one and then making a one and eight instead of a one and nine? Yeah, I'm actually... I, I assume so, only because like I knew there was like a processing issue like with mm -hmm. the console itself in the previous games, and I yeah. assume that because the Switch is, you know, the newest, that's been fixed. So I hope it's truly random. I mean, you know, there's just better ways to program the game, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I like the way he's using that Lloyd, too. He's not necessarily, like, bringing it into a space. He's just, like, trying to cut off space and then just, like, spacing around it and just mm -hmm. seeing what Forte does. But everything he's using is so non-committal. Mm -hmm. You know, he just gets more and more information as it goes. Nice uh, f right there for the mode as well. And this is like that uh, person I was talking about where you can just look for a jab into a tilt. Mm -hmm. And he's still going for that fair and back air game like you were saying because he just hasn't been punished for it yet. Yeah. And Forte can. Okay. Ooh, that was risky. That time he went for the bucket, but uh, Komoda had switched it up. Oh! That was, <laughs> that was sick. Yeah, I'm going to watch that on replay. Ooh, yeah, he read that air dodge pretty hard, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, so Komoda's going to take the first game. Mm -hmm. Um... Pretty solidly. I don't think enough to work to be like, oh man, Forte is totally out of this. I think it just needs to just kind of just some adjustments. Yeah, just some small, some minor adjustments. You can really like change a lot of this, um, especially if you start bucketing a little bit more. Because you don't, you don't have to reflect and hit him with every slingshot. You just have to show him it exists. Exactly. Yeah, you just have to show sense. him that it's an option, so he changes up his neutral a little bit. Because right now she's just playing her regular game plan, no problem. Mm -hmm. And I definitely want to see him start contesting that space too, because right now he's just. There's like a giant gap between game and game. Now that just needs to be like closed in if he just wants to do anything. Yeah. And the stage is a good start too by limiting that space. And again, that's exactly what Komodo wants. That's why the Lloyd is always kind of in the middle of him. He just mm -hmm. sets it down and just plays around it exactly like this. And uh, Forte, I know it's, it's hard to go in, but you have to go in because this isn't a winning game plan for you. It's not like you can go in and hold shield either, because then that just leaves you just like really awkward options. And if you go in and hold shield, they just run away. Right. Also, there's another dash that can beat that. It's very punishable, of course, mm -hmm. uh, if Komodo picks up on that. But, you know, it's it's a little better than just letting it sit for like the whole like 20 seconds or however mm -hmm. long to like let it rock, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and even, and here's the thing. 
Okay, so let's say you do start to go in and get, with, get in with those scrambles. Um, Isabel's up close options are all pretty punishable for Game of Watch's shield. Exactly. So he just needs to he needs to create that situation a lot more. Um, but outside of that, again. That was smart. All right. Because he knew the Lloyd was there, so he just went for the bucket. And it also prevents Isabel from getting aggressive. And it puts the hitbox out, too, so that uh, the, um, the slingshot won't do anything. Yeah, he really, uh, I think the only punish he could have really gotten from that range was uh, side B. Um, Even then, uh, I think the re reflector stops the side B. Does it? Oh, God. Goodness. Well, we will never know. This man's like fishing. God, that was a good first stop. Oh, right, yeah. Gonna burn the Lloyd early. Yeah, you're right. He's just giving Komodo space, and it's making it really hard for Game Watch to get anything done. Because he doesn't have anything substantial from that distance. He just has, you know, like, bacon or whatever, which mm -hmm. is not a bad move, but he's not going to compare against another zoner that actually, like, you know, focuses on zoning. Mm -hmm. I appreciate Komodo nice. just doing this space game as well. Cause it's like I said, like, Game & Watch just doesn't play Smash typically, so, yeah. like, you just can't play Smash with him as well. Which is smart, yeah. See, he's touching his shield. He's getting a lot out of his shield being touched. Mm -hmm. Just has to stay up close. Even if you're taking hits on the way, like, you know? Oh, he didn't bucket that one. Well, then again, uh, Komodo called that one out. He didn't land on it, so he didn't have to think about it. Think it's on the court? Yeah. Oh, wow. Komodo recognizing that that was his only way of dying, too. He also didn't, uh... Man, he is, <laughs> he is eating off this slingshot for... Or, excuse me, off this uh, fishing rod for days. No substantial gimp on his recovery either. Mm -hmm. Moto's gonna take all his momentum. He can get so much out of this if he's careful. I like, see, I like the aggression from Forte. Just needs to clean up the spacing a little bit to make sure that he can actually like start securing those stocks. Exactly. Uh, in our situations. Because Komodo, you give him some momentum, he will take that. Yeah, he's really far. an inch. He's definitely taking a mile right yeah. now. Yeah. Like he's in right now. See? Wow. Those go. Yeah. Okay. So I think he was trying to go for the contest too on the fair and just got hit by the uh, first hit of the fair and the bomb just fell on him after that because he doesn't have a fast enough option to disarm it. All right, everything's on the line right now. Should be able to uh, make it back, but Komodo's been really, really tricky with fishing fishing rods, so mm -hmm. wouldn't be surprised to see some more crazy mix-ups in the future here. Oh, try to stop. Uh... Yeah. Wow. Kind of took a play out of Game & Watch's book right there. Mm -hmm. Up smash on a shield and a bucket spot dodge, G smash. Yeah. That's definitely that's definitely Game & Watch's like main MO. thing. Yeah, it's, that's definitely his MO. Interesting. All right. So yeah, like I was saying, I was definitely excited to see this Isabel because I, I, you don't really see good Isabel play. Yeah, you really don't. Even even like all the best like villager players, they don't play Izzy. They all like, um, you'll see Panda Bear or you'll see. Oh, there's another kept. Japanese villager. Wait, no, not. Yeah, it's kept. Well, kept. kept. Yeah? Yeah, it's kept. I, I watched him play at, uh, what was it, Big House? I was blown away. Yeah. I think I watched him play against Zenodo, and he was just playing out of his yeah, mind. Yeah, because he had a set against um against Toast, and uh, he, oh, did he definitely just did not let Toast play. Dang, and Toast is scary good. Yeah. I'm actually...